The encroachment on indigenous religion is a priority. The National Environmental Protection Act has been continually bypassed by Congress, along for, allowing for desecration of federal trust lands and for, by foreign corporations. To this day, my people are struggling against poverty and the attack on our sovereign rights guaranteed to us by this government. Our lands are being poisoned and are in consistent threat from mining and fracking from companies. As president, what will you do to ensure protection of sacred and holy indigenous lands, the lives of native people, and our tribal sovereignty? Well, thank you very much for, for being here. Uh, and it's immoral and criminal what has happened in your communities. Like all of America can see uh, the legacy uh, of the dislocation of native peoples over the last number of generations. And so I would appoint someone who would respect all of the commitments that we've made to native peoples. Uh, and part of this is around when you talk about the poisoning of your land, the problem is that we're measuring our economic progress in GDP and then it makes it seem like people are obstacles. What we have to do is we have to actually take your community's health and all Americans' health and use that as the new GDP. Now that seems far out, but GDP is at record highs and life expectancy has declined for three years in a row because of record levels of, of drug overdoses and suicides. And so if we continue to see people as obstacles, then there's this continual like, battle against the grain. It's like, oh, if you respect native rights, then you're going to somehow be costing some oil company or fracking company money. Instead, we have to change the measurement. We have to say that our children's success, our health, the cleanliness and sanctity of, envir of our environments, our clean air and water, our mental health and freedom from substance abuse, that's actually how we measure economic progress. And then protecting your people's rights will be part of that progress. All right, Bishop Barber. Thank you so much for being here. And, and let me just...